Good evening and welcome to ANZ Stadium. It's the SRL Season 1 Grand Final. Who would have thunk it for the Auckland Warriors taking on the Parramatta Eels in what is set to be a monumentous occasion as Kobe Johnston and John Nanai lead their squads out onto this remarkable field. A full crowd, packed house here at ANZ Stadium for this Season 1 Grand Final as we get ready for the national anthems of both New Zealand and Australia. You are watching SRL TV. Grand final action about to get underway. It's two versus four. After the regular season, the Warriors Finishing second while the Eels scraping into the finals, coming to beat the Broncos in semi-finals last week. While the Warriors took out the South Sydney Rabios as Charlie Butler gets the game underway. The grand final here at ANZ Stadium. And it's the Warriors That's skipper, That's one. John Two. Nanai, are taken up for the first tackle of the game. So no major changes for either side this afternoon. Seamus Walker for the Warriors will be looking to come off the bench and get his first touch in the SRL. Meanwhile, Charlie Butler does see himself in the starting side this week, partnering with Hayden Yates in the halves for the Eels. CJ Jones moved to the bench and we'll have to wait and see how that pairing goes as the Warriors make their way through their first set of this grand final. As Miguel sends it down to the wing of Dan Mitchell, who was not last night given the honour of one of the wingers of the season, named in the, the team of the season, Dan Mitchell. As they come back out to his wing on that right hand side, taken down a good tackle by Shea Hardy and Mitch Austin. The Eels find themselves with a little bit of territorial advantage early on here as Short takes it down. They're about 25 metres out, final tackle. Butler's turn to take the kick, he kicks it well. Down to the wing of Paul Thomas. Thomas brings it back hard. But he's met by Connor Sanderson and wrapped around the legs by Charlie Butler. As Strange takes it forward, that's a good run by the second rower. Up over the halfway line for the Warriors. The rain is coming down here at ANZ Stadium. And weather that you would have to agree would suit this Warriors outfit. Of the four games they have had at home this season, three of them have been in the rain. As they come near side to Thomas, good run by the winger. Paul Thomas taken down, only 10 metres out here for the Warriors. Taua finds Corcoran, puts in the kick, but it's partially charged down and picked up by the Eels. So a disappointing end of the set for the Warriors. And Braden Smith makes his way down the sideline. He evades the tackle of Thompson. And Smith's going to go in for the first try of the evening. He goes under the posts. And Smith goes in and the Eels take the early lead in the grand final. Totally outclassed his opposite winger, Paul Thomas. And just the start that Kobe Johnston would have been hoping for here at ANZ Stadium. As Charlie Butler lines up to add the extra two, he shouldn't have any issues. And he sends it through the middle. Braden Smith's fourth try of the season. 
and an important one it was in the grand final. And we're only six minutes in as Miguel gets the game back underway, sends it deep down into the Eels in goal, and it's Jay Fogarty who will bring it back. Jay Fogarty yet to have his contract renewed for season two and it is likely he will go into the free agent draft at the end of this week as the Eels look to solidify their season two squad season two here in the SRL is set to launch in early October and a state still be too confirmed as the Eels get through their first set after the try and they send it down to Chance Bunce to bring it back for the Warriors. Two Warriors named in the SRL Season 1 Team of the Year. That was J Jason Farah at Hooker who picks up the ball right now and gives it to Miguel and Chance Bunce, the Warriors fullback. And Nanai will be looking to those two players to really spark something for the Warriors tonight. And Strange takes it up and they send it back to Curran. He wasn't expecting that one. He's taken down the good tackle by the what by the Eels skipper. And the Warriors send it down the final tackle. And they find a little bit of grass as well. Get down to the winger, Braden Smith. He's letting it bounce. And he judges it well. The chases were coming for the Warriors. As the ball just trickled over the edge of the end goal. Zero tackle. So the Eels bring it back. One trying to release. force the ball into the Warriors territory as they come near side and they go back centre field to Fogarty. Taken down by Corcoran. Assisted by Farrah. This tackle two for the Eels. Just short of the halfway line. They come near side to William Jones. A strong run by the second rower. Taken by Strange. And Curran, back centre field, shorts taken in a good tackle, the weather, the rain continues to come down here at ANZ Stadium as Sanderson gets the ball on the inside and can't find a way through. This time James comes deep to Yates, Yates just punches a high towering kick to the wing of Paul Thomas who again brings it back well, Thomas finding some space. Down that Eels left hand edge. And some early meters here for this, for the wingers of both teams. As Farah goes flat to Nanai. Taken down just short of the halfway line for the Warriors. They go left again, this time just to Jordan Ford. Farah goes flat out wide to Barter. And it's not the first time David Barner finds himself in finals footy. He's a experienced legend of the game, David Barner, as the Eels bring it back through Luke Carter. They come near side to Butler. Looking to find his way out wide besides this guy himself. Charlie Butler, a lot of weight on the shoulders on the young 5'8 this evening as they come near side Yates to Jones. Jones finds himself in a gap, throws the offload to Smith, but he's wrapped up this time by Thomas. And there's no way through, and he's forced to play the ball. He gets up a little bit slowly, and we'll keep an eye on Braden Smith as Yates sends it deep down to the fullback. That's Chance Bunce. Who brings it back? He's held there. Let him go. Two on the kick Strange going. plays the ball. Farah goes to Miguel outside to Barna. The Warriors Three. struggling to make any sort of attacking play at the moment. They're just sort of trying to hit it up into the Seals pack. The Warriors, obviously, the Warriors Ford pack is. One of the largest packs in the comp. But the Eels are no slouches. And it's going to be a pretty even match 
up front as the Warriors don't get a good kick to end this set away as Miguele sort of partially charged down the Eels finding themselves in Warriors territory early in the tackle count they come to Butler who again decides to take it on himself and taken in the tackle by Nanai this time it's Fogarty up through the middle makes a few good meters up to the Warriors 10 so a good opportunity here for the Eels as James goes back to Yates, who puts it high. It's a good kick by Hayden Yates. Sanderson waiting at the back, but it's taken Lawrence. down well by Hardy, who's been forced back into his in goal. And the Warriors will restart from a line dropout. It's McGilly who gets the game back underway. Taken by the skipper, Johnston. He gives it to Fogarty. So the Eels setting themselves up 32 metres out, centre field. A great opportunity to lodge their second of the afternoon if they can get through the set. No mistakes as Johnston goes through the middle. The skipper gets the offload as well. Yates is taken down by Corcoran, assisted by Barna. They come near side to Jones. Shot ball to Smith and Braden Smith looks to have gone in for his double. But the referee's pulled him back for a forward pass. So that would have been a sensational try. But Braden Smith has been caught. He's run over a forward pass. Here's the Warriors. Look to seal things down here at ANZ Stadium. As Curran comes near side, fine, bunts in a bit of space. Taken down by his opposite, Sanderson. But the Eels missing out on a golden opportunity to go up by two tries early, early in this grand final as the Warriors themselves throw the ball forward. And we're going to restart with a scrum just on the eel side of halfway. As they come to Sanderson, jinx his way past One, the tackle of Taua. Taken down by Corker and Miguelia. They come near side to Smith again. Looking to get his hands on the ball as much as possible. In this grand final, Johnston short ball to Settendag up off this interchange bench. This dynamic Let him go. Let him go. bench player, Attila Sittendag, Yates to Johnston, the skipper. So the Eels looking strong here, only seven or so metres out. Options left and right, they come left side. Yates decides to change it to Butler, who gets the offload to Wallace. Good interchange passing by the Eels. Final tackle, only a couple of metres out. They go back to Yates. It's partially charged by Corcoran. And the referee says six, six again. It's Barnes to play it on the 10. They come near side to Jones. A great opportunity for the Eels to strike here. A couple of metres out, they come near side. Wide ball to Simons. Tries to get the hands free to Smith, but he can't do so. They go right to Jones. It's William Jones trying to power his way over. And Jones looks to have scored for the Eels. Referee wants to go upstairs. We may need a different angle. It's Corcoran over the top. And Chance Bunce looking to hold him up, but he hasn't done enough. And William Jones powers over for the Eels' second try of the evening. So Charlie Butler will look to add the extra two after his offload to Thomas Wallace really set the try up. 15 metres out, 18 metres in, no issues for Butler. And the Eels here at ANZ Stadium. Leading 12-0 in the grand final. 23 minutes been. As this rain continues to come down, the heavens have opened. 
And we have got a, a slippery game on our hands as Miguelia gets the game back underway. It's taken by Sanderson, who hands it off to Attila Settendad to bring it back for the first tackle. So all the early territory so far in this game, the first quarter has gone to the Eels. With the Warriors yet to have any real possession in the Eels half as Sanderson almost makes his way through. He's taken down by Corker in a good tackle. As the Eels come near side again, up over the halfway line, it's Yates. Final tackle now, Simons plays at dummy half, goes to James, forced to kick, goes down to the wing of Hardy, a good opportunity here for Hardy, brings it back well, He's evades the tackle of Eli oh, Barnes, police. and taken down just short of the Warriors 40. As they spread it wide, they find Farrah, struggles in the tackles, taken down, and they spread it wide to Curran, again, He's Curran not expecting that one. And forced to take it up into some comfortable Eels defence as they go up over the halfway line here, the Warriors, just looking to get their final tackle and get a good, decent kick underway. As Brana brings it forward, that's a good run by the second rower. So the Warriors' final tackle only around about 33 metres out, and Miguelia sends it down to the wing of Mitchell, who brings it back, taken down just short of the Eels' 30. So the Warriors looking to rush up early here, try and force in a mistake by the Eels. We know how wet it is here tonight. As Barnes takes a good shit ball and tries to shimmy his way through, but he can't find a way past. That's Ford and Barner. This time it's Farah who takes down the 5'8 Butler, who seems to be confident in that 5-8 position, considering it's his first game of the season there. Interesting call by Kobe Johnston to throw Butler the responsibility so early on in his career and so late in the season. So it's the Warriors with the ball as Barner finds a gap. Runs a good line. And they find themselves in Eels territory early, the Warriors. As they sling it through the hands, they find Hardy on the wing, taken down by Sanderson. But the Warriors just short of the Eels 20 here with a good opportunity as Farah slings it wide to Ingo. Ingo off the bench, taken down centre field about 15 metres out. Farah decides to go right, finds Curran, and Curran's been hitting a big tackle. Right, that's zero. And he's fumbled the ball. It's been jolted out of his hands. I think it was Kobe Johnston, the Eels skipper. He came up early and Curran, I think he was trying to get the offload away as Butler throws the dummy. Not fallen for by Farah. But the opportunity gone for the Warriors. There's the Eels through their skipper. Just short of the halfway line. 30 minutes been here in the grand final. It's the Eels who are holding a 12 points to nil lead. You're watching the Simulation Rugby League Premiership live on SRL TV, ANZ Stadium here in Sydney, Australia. As the Eels get to the end of their set, they come near side to Smith. He's forced to kick it. It's a good kick by the winger. Bunce is forced to make his way backwards. Get up. And brings it back to around about 15 metres out from the Warriors line. Seamus Walker gets his first touch in the SRL wearing a Warriors jersey. And his family will be extremely proud making his debut in the grand final. Calling for the ball again. This time they go to Barna. But you can see Walker calling for it. They go to Miguel. He decides to go to Bunt to injects himself, but can't find a way through this Eels defence. So far, standing up extremely strong, the Eels as Curran puts a good kick down to the wing of Smith, and this could be dangerous, but it's Taua who wraps him up. Assisted by Strange as we count down to half time. 
here in the SRL Grand Final Season 1. Two tries to the Eels. The Warriors yet to have any real opportunity in this first half. It's been all the Eels as Sanderson's hitting a good tackle. That's Daniel Ingo who just throws the shoulder down and Sanderson's thrown backwards. And it's a good hit. Eli Barnes has tried to get the offload. But I think it was Shea Hardy. No, it was Mitch Austin. Good tackle by the centre. And Barnes has thrown the ball out into touch. So the Warriors restarting 20 metres in on the halfway line. And they go to McGalley. So an opportunity here just before half time for the Warriors if they want it. They come flat to Strange. Inside to Bunce. Good ball to chance. Bunce finds himself in a little bit of space. Just what he was looking for after a good ball by Strange. They come near side to McGalley. McGalley to Walker. Inside ball. Out to Strange. A good run by Seamus Walker. Almost finds a try. And Strange. They go left to Farah. He finds Daniel Ingo. Daniel Ingo Strauer. He powers his way over. Referee's going to go upstairs. But after scoring two tries last week, Daniel Ingo off the bench. He's got himself a third. So the Warriors do strike before the halftime siren. And it's all set up by a Seamus Walker pass. And Daniel Ingo, that's his third try of the season. And just what the Warriors needed. As we count down, under five minutes remaining until half time. Sage Miguelia comes in and makes no mistakes. It's 12 points to six. Here at ANZ Stadium, SRL Grand Final Season 1. As Butler will get the game back underway. A little under four minutes until half time. He sends the ball down to Chance Bunce. And it will be the try scorer, Daniel Ingo, to bring it back. For tackle one, he Farrah decides to come near side. Inside ball from Curran to Bunce. And Bunce has spilled it. He's been hitting a big tackle. And the Eels, a prime opportunity to strike back before half time. One, Thomas Wallace to play the ball just inside the Warriors, 10, five metres to the right of the uprights. They go to Charlie Butler. Two, decides to take it up himself. They go far side to Barnes. Barnes finds Dan Mitchell. Dan Mitchell's over the line, held up by Shea Hardy. I couldn't see from that angle if Mitchell's gone over. We're going to go up to the bunker. Dan Mitchell likes it. We're going to see a different angle here. And he looks to have got it down. So Dan Mitchell, the Eels have striked. After the Warriors try and they extend the lead here at ANZ Stadium. 16 points to six kick to come. This will be a test for Charlie Butler, only two or three metres in from the sideline. 21, 21 metres out. Not too much wind to contend with, but a difficult kick all in all as he comes in, he strikes it well, and it's gone through the uprights. So it's a good kick by Butler. And the Eels, 18 points to six. Leading at the moment. A mistake from Bunce in their own 20. And the Warriors are doing it hard at the moment as Miguel gets the game back underway with a little over a minute remaining until half time. That's one. Move. Fogarty's taken down by Ford. They come to William Jones, who's already scored a try this evening. 
There's his Brayden Smith. They go to Sanderson. Sanderson's wrap, been wrapped up well so far in this first half. Unable to find any way through. There's Fogarty. Taken down by Strange. And the siren sounds here at ANZ Stadium. It's half time in the grand final. The Eels holding an 18 points to 6 lead. We will be back. Second half action very soon. Welcome back to the Simulation Rugby League Premiership Season 1 Grand Final live from ANZ Stadium. It's the Eels hope holding an 18 points to 6 lead as the Warriors Sage Magalha gets the second half underway. And Jay Fogarty will bring it back for the Eels for the first hit up of the second half. All is on the line with 40 minutes remaining in season one. Coming into the season, the Eels ranked as premiership favorites, while the Warriors went through preseason, four games, four losses. Two contrasting scenarios, and two teams find themselves in a final the Eels, 18 points to six leaders as Yates finds his way to the end of the set, sends the ball down to Shea Hardy to bring it back on this near touchline. Taken down by Sanderson, so a confident and comfortable finish to the set for the Eels to start the second half. And the Warriors will be looking for much of the same as they Find some early territory, something they didn't have much of in the first half. It's Barna to play the ball on the 30. Miguel finds Ford. They're playing at centre field here, the Warriors. About 23 or 24 metres out. Near side again to Barna. Good flat ball from Farah. Final tackle here for the Warriors. They're 15 metres out. Ran about 10 metres to the left of the uprights. They go to Miguel. He's going to put it high. Coming down for Smith. But it's taken well by the winger. And they'll bring it out to the 20, the Eels. And that's a good run by Luke Short to start the set. Bumps off Barna. Taken down by Nanai, but the Eels definitely looking like the more confident of the two teams here tonight. Obviously, Talent galore in both teams is again short. Bumps off this time, it's Miguel. It's short, looking to start the second half with some dominance as the Eels. They go short side this time to Jones. Try score in the first half, William Jones. Skip out pass to short. Another good run by the front rower. Arguably the prop of the year this season, Luke Short, as Butler sends a little right, one. chip kick Hill. to the wing of Shea Hardy. Two. So Hardy plays it about 15 metres out here for the Warriors. Miguel sends it to Barna, but he's hitting a strong tackle by Co Kobe Johnston. As Miguel goes inside to four, the Warriors looking for some sort of Attacking now, saw opportunity to come near side this time. Miguel finds Austin. Just trying to run the plays here, Miguel. As they go deep, and Corcoran 
decides to kick it early and that's a good decision by Patrick Corker and finds a bit of space out behind Sanderson and he brings it back One, release. but he's met in a good it's tackle there. by Rod Curran Aaron. so the Eels trapped on their 10 here they'll be looking for their big guys to bring it about and it's Jay Fogarty who takes it forward no. No. for the Eels taken down by Nano and Barna and they go inside to Sanderson so Connor Sanderson up over the halfway line, this electric fullback coming into the season regarded as one of the best players in the comp probably didn't pick up the award that he was wanting to pick up last night but even so regarded as one of the best there is as Yates is going to put it high, it's a good kick by Hayden Yates a good test for Hardy, they flick it back to Johnson but Johnston's going to be held up. And the Eels will have to hand it over. So Shea Hardy was tested there. And the Warriors under a bit of pressure. Having to bring the ball out from their own half. As Magali just sends it to Barnes. And that's a massive mistake for the Warriors in their own 10. Magali just throws it forward. I don't know what he was thinking. But more pressure about to be piled onto the Warriors as Sanderson plays the ball 10 metres out centre field. They go to William Jones. He's going to play the ball 2 metres out. Options left and right. They come right to Yates. Yates looks the power his way over. Hayden Yates over the line. But held up by the referee. They play the ball, the Eels. They go left to Smith. To William Jones, taken down by Strange and Curran. Again, they've got options to the right. They go to Ray Yates. This time, Hayden Yates. He's been rolled onto his back again, though. Yates wanting a try, knowing that he's... It's his final game for the Eels, possibly. Off to free agency next season. So Hayden Yates denied two, two tries in two minutes. They come tackle, final tackle. Butler doesn't know it. And he's been wrapped up by Patrick Corcoran. And it's a handover to the Warriors. One, release, Hill. So Nanai taking it on himself away. to get his team out of their own half. As they've given it away again. Magalha sending the ball to Strange, who's complaining he was taken out without the ball. We've seen this a bit this season. Referees wanting to carry on, play on as the Eels. More territorial advantage. It's Jones with the ball, 10 metres out here, the Eels. Surely they're going to score. Butler decides to take it himself. Taken down five metres out. They decide to go left to Luke Short. Luke Short gives it to Fogarty. He's met in a good tackle. Horseback final tackle for the Eels. They're only a metre or so out. They go back to Yates. Puts it on the toe. Goes to Charlie Butler. He's up over the line. But he's rolled onto his back as well. Good defence by the Warriors. And they survive again. So the pressure is starting to mount. You can see the Warriors players just out on their That's feet the at the moment. John Nanai looking to lead from the front. But this large Three. Warriors outfit. Three. Back with me. Looking very fatigued. The strange brings it up, but he's driven back in a good hard tackle by William Jones. The skipper brings it forward for the Warriors up over the 40. It's their final tackle. Farrah goes back to Curran. And Curran puts a good kick down to the wing of Dan Mitchell. But this could be dangerous. No, he's wrapped up well by Austin. Around the legs by Barna. And so the Warriors just looking for any sort of mistake by the Eels. That's his second. But we haven't seen many considering the weather we've had. As the rain does look to be easing slightly. 
So Luke Shaw just over the halfway line. They play the ball. They go out to the skipper. Kobe Johnston brings it just over the Warriors 40. Center field. They come near side. Butler to Sanderson. Again, trying to get his way through. Finds his way around Miguel Air, but can't find his way past Barna. He plays the ball. 23 meters out. Butler puts it high. Finds some grass as well. It's picked up by Thomas. But it's a good kick by Charlie Butler. It's strange to play the ball. Farrah decides to come near side. It's a flat pass to Nanai. The Warriors throwing the ball around. It's Jordan Ford who got it from Nanai, but the Warriors just need to compose themselves here. There's still plenty of time remaining. Just under 24 minutes, in fact, as Miguel finds Bunce and Chance Bunce finally might breaks his way through after the good little inside ball from Curran. And it's Farrah to play the ball just over halfway and the Warriors send the ball down through Curran to the wing of Braden Smith. So again, this, the game has been played all down the Eels half. 60 minutes of just relentless attack from this Parramatta side. As they go far side through hey, Isaac Marcus Simons, takes it just over the halfway line. <coughs> That's four, hands off. This time it's Fogarty. Still plenty of time to go in this one. As they find Braden Smith who decides to get the offload inside to Johnston. It was a good decision there as Smith was bundled over the sideline. They play a final tackle and Hayden Yates sends it down to the fullback. That's Chance Bunce, but he's wrapped up that's in a good one. tackle Ooh. by number 11. That's William Jones. The Eels' defence tonight has been quite phenomenal. All the pressure is on the that's Warriors as Strange yeah. brings it forward. A good pass by Curran. But the Warriors' halves tonight have really struggled. Three hands away. Hell. And this, the Auckland Ford pack as well is absolutely out on their feet as Barn has given the ball away he slaps his hands on the ground out of frustration Johnston came up with it and you'd have to say if the Eels can score here it would surely wrap it up with still 20 minutes remaining as they go far side to Smith and Braden Smith's forced back in a good tackle by Thomas. They're about 12 metres out on that left-hand touchline. It's William Jones this time who pumps the legs up to about the five. They come near side to Yates. Puts it on the toe, Hayden Yates, but it's been picked up by Jason Farrell. Juggled it slightly, but he comes away with it. And the little hooker. Secures it for the Warriors. Three. Hands away. Hill. As Seamus Walker plays the ball on the Warriors' chin. He's held there. Four. Move. This ferocious defense from the Eels continuing to cause Hill. problems for the Warriors. A strange Hill. almost Hill. throws it away. This time they go to Ingo. He bumps off Luke line. Carter. Good run Let by go. Daniel Ingo. Coming off the bench for his second stint of the evening. Much needed Hell. energy from the Warriors as Barner takes it forward. It's been a tackle restart by the referee. Must have been touched by an Eels player. <clears throat> so Bunce plays it on the halfway line. They go to Corker in this time. Hell. He's had a quiet game so far, Patrick Corcoran. They come near side, Miguel Air. Barna fumbles it, regathers, and taken down on the Eels 30. So final tackle, they go back to Miguel Air, And he sends a good kick down to the wing of Dan Mitchell. So the Warriors getting to the end of their set, but looking a little bit shaky as they do it. But what a grand final this has been. It's all the eels so far. 
Warriors still struggling to get any sort of ascendancy or condition as the Eels have, as I say that, made an unforced error. And this gives the Warriors probably their best attacking opportunity in the second half as they go the right side, Miguel. Two bunts and Chance Bunts goes through the middle and he's been taken down just short of the line and he's knocked it on. So a great opportunity for the Warriors goes begging. The Eels will have to restart from the line dropout up. They were forced back into the end goal. But a great opportunity for Chance Bunce to go right under the uprights. Goes begging for the Warriors as they restart the game. And Sabbath Taua goes through the middle. He's going to set it up about 12 metres out for the Warriors. They go to Nanai. The skipper looking to bust his way through. Fends off one, taken down nine metres out. Farrah right to Curran. Curran, can Curran go over? Rod Curran looks to be over. He's confident. Pushing his way over from over five metres. The second rower come 5-8. Rod Curran scores for the Warriors. The injection of power is just what they needed. Curran goes over for his fourth try of the season. As Miguel comes up, it's an important kick this one. Makes no mistakes, we are back to a six point ball game. With a little under 13 minutes remaining in the grand final. 18 points to 12. Hold on to your seats. We are set for a massive finish in this SRL Grand Final Season 1 as Butler restarts the game. It's Miguel who's going to send it off to Daniel Ingo who brings it back for the first tackle. Daniel Ingo's come off the bench tonight. He's already scored one try but the energy that he's bought from the bench you'd have to say it contributed to the territorial advantage they gained before scoring that last try the Warriors but they just need to compose themselves here get through the set get a good kick away as it looks like they're going to do on the fourth it's not a great kick though by Miguel and Sanderson's picked it up just on the eel side of halfway he's going to play the ball on the halfway line so a disappointing end of the set again by the Warriors. Deciding to kick on the fourth. A really good opportunity to find some territory at the back. But they're going to put themselves under more pressure here as the Eels bring it forward. And it's Attila Sittendag back on the field. He plays the ball centre field. 35 metres out here for the Eels. They go left side to Jones. Jones is forced back and a good tackle by Strange. Assisted by Curran. As Yates on the fifth sends it down to the wing of Shea Hardy. He's wrapped up early. A good tackle by Eli Barnes. Wraps up Shea Hardy. As the Warriors come centre field. It's Daniel Ingo. Hit hard by Tim James. Plays the ball well. Miguel inside to Nanai, the scooper looking to make his way through the middle and find some space through the tiring Eels defence. Left side to Barna. Eight and a half minutes remaining in the grand final. The Eels leading 18 points to 12. The Warriors sling it wide. Chance bunts on the end of it. They're up to the 40 here in the final tackle. Bunts plays the ball. They go back to Curran. Curran puts a good kick in to the wing of Braden Smith. Anything could happen with Smith, his hands in the ball, but he's taken down the good tackle by Sabatua. 
So the clock continues to count down. Two hands away. Here's Fogarty. Taken down just on the Warriors' side of halfway. As is Attila Sittendag. <clears throat> so the Eels looking to wrap it up. Here at ANZ Stadium. Hayden Yates plays the ball flat to Sanderson. So to Carter, who gets it to Sanderson. Final tackle, Farrah wraps up Sanderson well. 22 metres out centre field. Butler, this towering first 5 8, puts the kick in. Taken by Chance Bunce. Chance Bunce finds some space. He evades the first tackle. He's got Eli Barnes chasing. Chance Bunce has got no one in front of him. But Eli Barnes wraps him up, chases him down. What a chase by Eli Barnes. An absolute try saver. But the Warriors still with a great opportunity here. 15 metres out, just to the right of the uprights. It's Corcoran taken down and a good tackle by Barnes. It's the Warriors, only 15 metres out. Curran out to the wing of Paul Thomas, taken in a good wrapped up by Braden Smith. So seven metres out here, they sling it wide to Ua, to Strange. It's Logan Strange who busts through the middle for the Warriors. And he falls. Just 15 metres to the right of the uprights. This hulking second rower. What a try by Strange. And what a try that is in the context of this game. After all the pressure they've been under. Arguably 70 minutes of this game has gone to the Eels. And what a kick this is for Sage Magalli. Arguably the biggest kick of his career. He comes in. He starts it. It looks good. And we're locked up at 18 apiece here at ANZ Stadium. It's the grand final. Less than five minutes remaining. Chance bounce. The SRL's best fullback sets up the Warriors. What a comeback. The last five minutes for the Warriors, two tries to level it up 18 apiece as Butler restarts. Sends the kick down to Miguelé and it's Engo to bring it back for the Warriors. They come near side. And Shea Hardy evades the first tackle. Gets away from uh, Eli Barnes. Taken by Sanderson, but it's a good run by Shea Hardy. As Miguel here. They send it wide to Bunce. Around about six metres short of the halfway line here, the Warriors. As Miguel here goes inside to Seamus Walker. A good run by this new second rower up over the halfway line. Farah to Daniel Ingo. What a, what a game by Daniel Ingo, arguably igniting this game for the Warriors. As Farrah goes to Miguel, it's been charged down by, it looked like Butler, and again, not a great kick by Miguel. And the Eels are going to have it just on their side of halfway as Luke Short brings it forward. He's had a quiet second half, Luke Short, as Sanderson gets the ball on the inside. Up over the halfway line here for the Eels. Less than two minutes remaining in regular time. We are locked up 18 points all here in the grand final. After a second half comeback by the Warriors. As Short's hitting a good tackle by the skipper. Assisted by the try scorer Strange. He'll play the ball 41 metres out. Final tackle with Simons to send it back. And Paul Thomas to bring it back for the Warriors. That's one. Move. He's wrapped He's up there. by Yates. Farrah goes flat to Bunce. Chance Bunce finds a gap. Gets the offload to Engo. Daniel Engo just shrugs up one tackle. Shrugs up another. And makes his way through the minutes. But the siren goes. And that's the end of regular time. We will be back with extra time here at ANZ Stadium. So golden point here at ANZ Stadium, it's the SRL Grand Final. 
Both teams unable to be separated after 80 minutes. Unlimited time. Golden point as Charlie Butler gets the game or gets golden point underway for the Eels. And the Warriors will bring it back through Daniel Ingo. Under a lot of pressure this afternoon, the Warriors making nine mistakes compared to the Eels' three. So they will be looking to get through the set without any mistakes as Sabbath Ta'ua makes a nice run, nice run up to this right-hand touch line. As Curran takes it up over the halfway line for the Warriors. So tackle four here, they'll play it third. Five metres on the Eels' side of halfway. As Walker, Seamus Walker goes through the middle. Tries to get the offload, but it's been intercepted oh, by Luke Short. He's held there. And so that's a frustrating end for the Warriors and a good opportunity here for the Eels. <coughs> As Tim James brings it back, that's tackle one for the Eels, just on their own side of halfway. So a great opportunity here for the Eels. Surely field goal is what they're looking at. As Yates goes centre field to Short. They're setting up the 30 metres out here, the Eels. Centre field as James goes to William Jones. Taking in a good run by Curran and Strange. They're about 10 metres to the left of the uprights. They go to Fogarty. Fogarty finds Short. They're setting it up centre field here, the Eels. Yates is calling for it. Yates goes wide to Jones, though. To the 10 metres out, tackle five. They can still go for the drop goal. Tim James goes back. Back to Yates. Yates decides to put it high and he's put it too far and Shea Hardy comes away with it. So the Warriors will restart from their 20. I'm surprised Yates didn't go for the field goal, even on the final tackle. Only 15 metres out. And he decided to go for the big up and under, putting Hardy under pressure and it didn't come up. The chasers weren't even ready. I don't think anyone was expecting it. Meanwhile, the Warriors That's his second. bring it back out. Second tackle, Nanice finds himself just short of the halfway line as David Barner He's brings it there. forward. Hill. Good Three. run by the second rower. Mitch Austin play it dummy half. Goes to Magella who finds Nanny on the inside. The, the Warriors, 35 metres out here, looking to set it up centre field. Good run, that's Rod Curran. A little bit too far for a field goal, you have to say, as Curran plays the ball on the 30. Farah's going to go back to Taua, and Taua just puts it on the foot, sends it down to the wing of Braden Smith. So Smith's taken down 22 metres out from the Eels liners. Simons decides to run it from dummy half, and that's a good run from the centre. Simons takes it just five metres short of the halfway line, so the Eels with a great opportunity here as Settendag just goes straight through the middle and the Eels again setting themselves up for a field goal Yates to Luke Short he charges it forward, taken down by Ingo and Farah James goes to Yates, Yates goes for the field goal he likes it and the Eels have taken it with a field goal, it's Hayden Yates and the Eels win season one on the Simulation Rugby League Premiership. The Warriors are devastated. The Eels are jubilant. Hayden Yates wins it for the Eels. We hope you enjoyed tonight's coverage of the Simulation Rugby League Premiership. Season 1 goes to the Parramatta Eels, taking out the Warriors. 19 points to 18 here at ANZ Stadium. What a season it has been. Thanks to all the players who joined. And we look forward to Season 2 starting in October. Good night.